Welcome to Columbia, Missouri, and Parole Field, named for the father of the split T, where the Missouri Tiger fans are hoping that they put together a big W. What a scene this is, a veritable cavalcade of colors, stripe after stripe that they hope leaves the visitors dizzy. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of bye week, the Auburn Tigers. Taking on the eighth ranked team in the land, the Missouri Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth as always by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. He'll bring it out. It's Cobb. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. So the Auburn Tigers offense will get the first possession of the game. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. He's got it again. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Now on first down from the 30. Well, jet sweep pass. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now on second down. On the ground, it's Alston. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. Smashes through. And the Tigers will keep this drive going. They've been very sharp on this drive so far. Now first and ten from the 43. Quarterback on the keeper. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Offense gets set for second down. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Across the 45. And he breaks into the open. What a play to get it inside the red zone, and they are set up at the 17. I love this type of play because it looks like a jet sweep. The defense, they're a bit confused pre-snap. They don't know who has the ball, and all of a sudden, that guy with his speed is in the second level of the defense before the defense even knows what happened. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. They'll line up for a second down play. This is a designed run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Ninth play of the opening drive coming up, but now they face a third down. Coming after it. And the rush will get to him at the 25. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy, a 42-yarder from the left hash. Between the uprights, it's good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved. But still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the move from inside is five. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Tigers' offense taking the field for a chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. Looking to throw, it's caught. Finds his big tight end. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the steps. To the ground to try to move the chains. Still running up the 40. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. The defense selling out to stop it on third and super short. They don't bring him down, Jesse. Next thing you know, he's in the second level. You're absolutely right. Third and inches like that. If you just get a little crease offensively, it can be a big play. In the back that time, hit the hole, show out the speed. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Across the 35. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Tigers have this offense rolling. On the ground, it's Carroll. Runs through a tackle. Going to be a gain of about three down to the 21. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Getting some heat. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Oh, the attempt is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Auburn, three, Missouri, zero. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Leaves it with the running back. At the 40, there he goes. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Auburn lines up quickly. You know in the SEC, you're going to have to run the football if you're going to win games. And you can go on and on talking about great Auburn running backs back in the day, but right here, right now, if this team's going to win an SEC championship, they need to force feed this guy the football and let him go to work. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. The give to the back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Motion from the offense. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he's 
gonna score. Touchdown, Auburn. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. This should be the last play of the quarter. Here's the handoff. And the run is for no gain and no more time left on the clock in the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. The give to the tailback. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. To the air, it's Cook. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Awesome job by the defense. Not only getting the fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that play. So Missouri will have to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Still in the pocket and fires over the middle. And they almost came up with that pick in the end zone. What a stop that would have been. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's why you got to avoid third and long situations if you're on offense because the defense knows it's pass and all these guys are pinning their ears back they're getting up field and you're under so much duress on top of that you give up a fumble that is a huge play for the defense missouri has the offense ready to go on the field after punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession of what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Give to the back. At the 20, he's got space. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Mizzou trying to cash in on a red zone trip. Wide receiver shows motion. Now on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Running back searching for a hole. Relying on that running game inside the red zone. He picked up three to the 11. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Really good run there on third down. He got five, but they're still left with a fourth and three. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Absolutely perfect. So 
Well, they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. On the run, it's Cobb. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Auburn sends out the punting unit. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. This drive will start at their own 27-yard line. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. They'll give it to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. It'll be a draw. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Third down after the run. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. It's a draw. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. I like the poise by the quarterback on that play, too, because a lot of times as a quarterback, you see the blitz coming, and immediately you want to audible, you want to try to throw the ball. But he knew that he had a good run play called, and he knew he could leave it on. Heads up play by the QB. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. And that's what I like most about this defense. When you try to take shots and make big plays, they get to the quarterback. They get him on the ground, their third sack of the day. And this is a unit that ranks in the top 10 in sacks in the country. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it behind the line. It's Cobb. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. Back to throw. It's Thorne. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Burden. Found a little running room on that one. Picked up some nice blocks before he's run out of bounds. 
They'll start this drive and snap it from the 40. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Gets it to the back. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is snowed under. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. So Missouri will have to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets a block. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. Looking for a productive play on first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Feeling some heat. Pulls it in. It's Lewis. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking to throw on second down. He rifles one deep down the middle. Passes incomplete. The clock is down to nine. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. They'll look to pin him deep. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin him back deep in their own end. Fair catch called for and made. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Columbia. And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. But the kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. Just about set here in the second half as Auburn about to kick it off. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offense. Racing to the right at the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Missouri! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you had my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short, and he did the rest of the work. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point was good. No incident there. And we are tied up in the third. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys. But take a look at this. Southern Miss is in front. They've controlled the line of scrimmage today. But they still have some work to do to put this in the win column. They're up by just two over Arkansas State. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Now on second down. To the ground with the back. Couldn't find a lane, a pickup of one to the 31. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. 
He's going to run it. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Wants to throw. It's Thorne. They're working that left side. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. To the air on first down. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle prevent this guy from getting to the quarterback. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. He wants to pass it on second down. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the defense gets to the quarterback. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. Auburn sends out the punting unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Running it back, it's Burden. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Trying to escape and get it himself. Get all you can, then get down with the slot. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. A first down for the offense. He's looking to throw it. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. Might as well stick with him. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. They're bringing heat. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Oh, you can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Mizzou has him back in the offense coming out on the field. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if the dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Coming after it. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And the Tigers are moving quickly down the field. The give out of the gun. They get him on the ground at the 33, but not before he picks up six. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They try to pop a run on the draw. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? Looking downfield, it's Cook. Working the middle, it's complete. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. Fast motion from the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. A shot for the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. And I love the wheel run. I love calling it because most of the time, I'm going to get my running back, who's a fast athlete in space, against a linebacker or somebody who can't catch him. Nice play design. Nice job throwing it out in front of him. He does the rest and gets in for the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The offense set for a first down play. Used the play fake, now to throw. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That's the end of the quarter, and Missouri has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. The gift to the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Thorne. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. Down to possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. First down for this offense. Give to the running back. Shakes off the defender. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Wide out in motion. Back to the ground with the running back. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. They go to the draw. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. So Missouri will have to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. You couldn't dial it up much better than that as he knocks it out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Gives it to the back on the draw. Running to Green. Got a lot of running room. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Man, this guy's a playmaker, and he does not need a lot of space. Really nice job that time letting the pass rush get upfield. So when he got the football, there was just green grass out and ahead of him, and he made the defense pay. Uh, and when I got a guy like that, man, I, I just got to find ways to get him past the defense, right? And then the draw play is a good way to do it. Let them run themselves up the field. Then you can see he's got some serious speed. A lot of speed in space is always a good recipe for all that. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for him. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. Auburn sends out the punting unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll bring it back. It's Burden. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. To the air, it's Cook. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Pocket starts to collapse. He's got his man. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side and a chance, perhaps, to put it out of reach. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws and scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Rutgers is lighting up the scoreboard right now thanks to a dazzling offensive display. They're up by 17 over UCLA. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves them in second and manageable. Back to pass, it's Thorne. Feeling some heat. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Auburn to the line in a hurry. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Trying to get to it. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. 
Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Fires left. Finds his man, and they convert. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. This Auburn offense doing work. They're set up with another first down. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Alston. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. And be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. A strike downfield. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. From the red zone, looking for a man. Makes the grab. It's Alston. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. On second down, just keeps firing. Catch in the middle. It's Burton. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. The aerial assault continues. They're trying to get to him. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. The hurry up now, second down, clock kicking. Dropping back, it's Thorne. And it's caught for the late touchdown, so how about this? Maybe we are set up for a finish. Yeah, and, and that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. you got to get the football back. you got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside to get the football back, to get back in this football game. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They got the touchdown they needed. Now trailing by a field goal, they'll line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Now we've got a little game pressure, and we'll see how the offense responds in a three-point game, Jesse. I can't wait to see this quarterback and how he's going to be able to handle that pressure, David. How will he respond in this situation? And just knowing, listen, I'm only up by three now. If I can make this a two-score game, I can almost put this away in the fourth quarter. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Now facing a third and long. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Here comes the offense on first down. He wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Coleman. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. Wants to throw on first down. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. This offense has a second down play. 
He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Coleman. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Line is set on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Got his man downfield. Makes a grab. Defense right there, and they are set up at the 14. They'll rush to the line. Clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. Operating in the red zone here on second down. One back in the backfield. He gets to carry. Pick up a five. They'll need five more on third down. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Takes it from the gun on third down. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. The defense uses a timeout, and we are down to 11 seconds left to play. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And in the waning seconds of the game, they tie it up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. They go to the ground. Got to be smart, patient, and great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We're headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. They'll run it from the gun. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. We'll get it started here in overtime. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they're able to get him down, but not before he gets to the two. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first. Touchdown, Tigers! And they score first here in overtime. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. The all-important extra point would push this lead to seven. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Back to throw, it's Cook. They're bringing... And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. 
Wants to fire on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Johnson. Knocked down for the tackle. Third down in overtime. They have to keep the drive alive and try to get it in the house. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Coming after it. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. Of the 11 on the play. Offense facing fourth down. Fourth and long, and they have to pick it up to keep their chances alive. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Fires deep toward the end zone. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. What a thriller. What a confidence builder to be able with a win like that in overtime. This team has to love their ability to come up with big plays and big moments. How about in overtime, the individual efforts we saw, this team playing as a unit, doing enough and doing everything that was needed to get the W. It's such an exciting game, up and down, back and forth. It's, it's heartbreaking if you lose, but when you come through with these games late in the ball game, it gives you confidence throughout the season to continue to build on it. What a great win. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.